Hey everyone, since today is 4th of July, today's video is going to be on the Toy Story and Beyond Stars and Stripes Woody and Buzz Lightyear that were released in Disney Store in 2002 by Think We Toys. So first step, we'll start with Woody. Now because I got him loose, I do not have his box, but here's what it looks like. He comes in a blue color box, it says Toy Story and Beyond on it, Stars and Stripes Woody. You have a blurb in the, inside of it of what he says. This is Disney Store exclusive. You also got an image of the toy himself on the back. He also shows how he changed the batteries. He takes two AAA batteries. Also, have, like you can pull the string in the back, like any other Woody at all, and try them out in the box. And it also promotes Stars and Stripes Buzz Lightyear on the back as well. I'm taking a closer look at Stars and Stripes Woody himself. When you first look at him, you may think that he's just the standard 1995 Thankway Woody doll because he has the same head sculpt with the creepy smile expression that's supposed to represent his hat tip expression. Yeah, so he has like, he uses the same head sculpt as that Woody doll, the 1995 Thankway Woody doll, and the layer releases without the wires in the arms and legs. Yeah, the only noticeable stars and stripes aspects about him are. He has a dark blue bandana with white stars on it. Also, he has, he has a white and red striped shirt as well. He has a dark blue vest with white stars as well that matches his bandana. He has gold buttons on his shirt. He also has gold buttons on his cuffs as well, except they're star-shaped. He also has an eagle on his belt buckle as well. There's not much, much else to say about everything else. Head sculpt's the same, like the, as, almost, as almost like all the other 1995 Weedles are. The hat's pretty much the same. It's the same flexible plastic material. No twist tie holes in it. And I have a Disney printing here. Yep. Same 1995 Woody Doll head sculpt. No hair detailing. The belt's the same. The holster's the same. It's the small kind. He has bright blue jeans. They're just, they're just that fabric material. Not real denim. He has the open hands as well. Yeah, the boots are pretty much the same. He has the thick spurs. No Andy's name or anyone else's name under the bottom of his boot. Just doesn't think way of thinking toys made in China. Under pretty much both of them. The back of him is pretty much the same. No hair detailing. Yep. Yeah, that's all really there is to him. For articulation, the wrists do rotate. I think. And the head does not move. Well, so yeah, you can also tell this is a Toy Story 2 or a Toy Story and Beyond version of an i5 Think We Woody doll because if you look at Sheriff's badge, you can see it's it's a lot smaller. There's no circles in the points. The points are more curved. So that's one way you can tell. So this Woody doll is technically based off a Toy Story 2 or a Toy Story and Beyond release of an i5 Think We Woody, i5 Think We Woody doll. He does turn it. All right, now into the phrases. Now he doesn't have really anything, anything special to say, really. If you already know by now, so you just pull the string in the back. That's what he says. He has, it only says five phrases and nothing too special. There's recycle, recycled 1995 weed all phrases. So let's pull the string. Let's listen. Howdy, partner. So yeah, nothing too special really, just recycled 1995 Woody all phrases, you know, Hi partner, my name's Woody, you're my favorite deputy, yeehaw cowboy, there's a snake in my boot. So, nothing too special. Just, you got a Stars and Stripes themed Woody, you got no new added phrases, sadly. One fun fact about this Woody doll is that he actually has two box variations. There's actually another one that's... It's completely different. It's dark blue and has a yellow green background. It kind of looks a lot like Hasbro's packaging for their Toy Story and Beyond products. I mean, I didn't. This. That package variation of Woody, I did not know much about. I mean, I don't know if it was released later in 2002 or 2003. I know Star Strikes William Buzz were discontinued in 2003. I don't know if that one was in 2003 or if that was later in 2002. But most of the things I've seen for the. the Toy Story and Beyond Stars and Stripes Woody with the Hasbro kind of looking packaging. Most of those things I've seen on eBay are from Japan. So I don't know if he was only imported in Japan. Or, 
I don't know much about that package creation. If it's a Japanese exclusive, I don't know. Please let me know down in the comments below if you do or don't know. So I don't know if that was released later in 2002 or if it was in 2003. Because we all know they were, these were discontinued in 2003. Alright, none of the Stars and Stripes buzz light year. Now because I have them loose too, just like the Woody, I don't have his box either. But here's what it looks like. Like Woody, he comes in a box too and it says Toy Story and Beyond on it. The Stars and Stripes Buzz Lightyear. I like a clear plastic window. You have a hole in the box where you can try him out in the box. You can press his buttons. Also, it's original voice, original music. You have the, you got the image of the toy himself on the back. It also shows like the, the features he can do. So that's, that's all really there is to his box. It's kind of more Stars and Stripes themed than Stars and Stripes Woody's boxes. And taking a closer look at the figure himself, he looks really nice. He has a really nice Stars and Stripes theme going on. I think this is one of the best obscure Buzz Lightyear color suit variations we've ever gotten released. He has like a, a dark blue color going on. He has white stars all over him. This is red and white stripes going on as well. See on his right arm, or his right wrist is Laser Army, it says USA. There. He has the old 1995 Buzz Lightyear sticker decals where I got the, the Starkman logo sticker with no word Space Ranger. The Shore Lightyear sticker, or the Lightyear name sticker. Yeah. He doesn't have the Laser Arm sticker or the Space Ranger Arm stickers. Back view. Has jetpack, screws. Unscrew these three, take out the jetpack, change the batteries, takes two, two AA batteries. Whereas mine has a strip screw up here, so I couldn't really fully move the jetpack. As long as get, it'll get two out of three of the screws out, but still it'll change the batteries though. Also, his butt, like all the other buttons, he got Disney slash Pixar Thinkway printed on his butt. Now, for his articulation, his articulation is kind of limited because, you know, the 90s and 2000s buzzes had limited articulation. The laser move can, arm can move up and down, can move to the side. It's also, bar also bends, the wrist rotates, the fingers can move, makes the fingers can be pry apart, which is what the 90s buzzes had. They also don't have the color on them. I can't move the laser arm, the, no, not his laser arm, his your arm. It kind of moves back and forth some. I can't bend down to the side. Then the elbow, you know, this wrist rotates as well. And the same thing with the fingers. The waist does turn a little bit. The legs can move. I can't really bend the knees. I can't get the right one. I can do the left one. Kind of move the feet all. And also, no Andy's name or any, anyone else's name or no manu product manufacturer product manufacturer information on the bottom. I mean, of course, he has standard features. Like, helmet's retractable. Let me close. The head does not turn. He also has the, the short, stubby pop-out wings. Yep. They're Stars and Stripes themed, too. They have, like, the white stripes. They also have, like, the... They're the blue color. They have the white stars in them as well. They look really nice. Here's the back view of the wings. Look very nice. They're the same short stubby kinds. Uh, almost all the nice the 2000s versions of Buzz had up until 2009. He has the laser light and sound as well. Got the timer sound and the shooting sound, which a couple of the older Buzz Lightyears had timers on their lasers, such as the Infinity Edition, the Room Guard Buzz, the Interactive Blaze Buzz, the original version, and also the Interstellar Buzzes, the Blue Chest one, the Green Chest one, and the Purple Chest one. Now the laser light, I mean, it looks a little whitish on camera, but it's actually the light's actually red. It just looks a little whitish looking on camera. Let me show again. So it's actually, the light's actually red, but on camera it looks white. 
An interesting fact is this laser sounds actually identical to another Buzz, which I think was released before this one came out. I mean, it's a 1995 Buzz Lightyear that was released for Toy Story 2. I mean, he's imported by Tomy or Takar Tomy. I mean, he comes to Toy Story 2, branded box, it's all Japanese, it's like he was made in Japan. He has some different phrases, and he has the exact same laser sound. Well, let me show you. So he has that exact same sound, and I'll put up a video clip so I can show you guys. Alright, I guess we can go on to the phrases now. Now, like the box says, he has the original voice, so he does have Tim Allen's original voice, and he also plays the original opening music from Toy Story 2. So he has eight phrases total, so let's listen to him. To infinity and beyond. I am Buzz Lightyear, member of the Universe Protection Unit. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion from the evil Emperor Zerg. I am Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. To infinity and beyond. So that's all the phrases he says. So I really like whenever it says Toon V and Beyond, we get he plays the Toy Story 2 original opening music from Toy Story 2. He has Timon's original voice, and he doesn't always really sound like Tim Allen because some of the phrases actually sound they were used from another Buzz Lightyear, voiced by Patrick Fraley, the interactive buddies Buzz Lightyear. Phrases like I'm Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger or A Space Ranger Fears Nothing. Rise and Stanger under attack, or also my lasers to stun, I'll protect you. That sounds a bit like Patrick Fraley, who, who's voiced a couple of Buzz Lightyears. Alright, now, real quick, we're going to compare the Toy Story 2 original opening music from Stars and Stripes Buzz with the Toy Story 3 2010 Blast Up Buzz Lightyear's music. So it's even kind of identical. I think this sounds more like Toy Story 2 of the music, and this is like kind of a remade kind of one. Much of the newer Thinkly Buzz Lightyear's had the same music other than Blast Off Buzz Lightyear. Howard Buzz had a Spanish Buzz, the Think of Toys version, both the Disney Story K exclusive version and the Walmart exclusive version. Also, Buzz Lightyear programmable robot, non Spanish version, and the Spanish version. Power or Blaster Buzz, Power Projector Buzz. Toy Story 4 Amazon exclusive Buzz Lightyear with the pop out wings. I think the one that actually did Tim Allen's voice, I think that one had music as well. I, and I think, I think also the, the Toy Story 4 talking Buzz Lightyear with 20 phrases did too. So a couple of the new Thankly Buzzes had the updated version of the Toy Story 2 opening music. But I think I also prefer Stars and Stripes Buzzes, the music he plays over the newer Thankly Buzzes. And one thing about Stars and Stripes Buzz is, an interesting fact, like Star Strikes Woody, he, this guy actually had another variation. He had a, a, another variation that, that was similar, like where he had a smaller head. I don't know much about that one. I think it was made in 2003 or later in 2002. I don't really know. The small one is more rare than the large head version. So I don't know if the small head one was released in 2003 because, you know, we all know Stars and Strikes Woody and Buzz were discontinued in 2003. That was the year like 2003 or later in 2002. I don't know. 
you guys can let me know down in the comments section below. So they're overall really great figures. I highly recommend you pick these up for your collection if you're a fan of Stars and Stripes, Woody, and Buzz. Now, if you want to find these guys today, they sell around the hundreds on eBay if they're new in box or, or loose. Buzz is the most common one to find. Woody's is more rare for some reason than Buzz for not having any new added phrases. I mean, there are a few listings for him. They both sell around the hundreds. It's, yeah, Buzz has like the large head variation, the small head variation. Woody has the blue box variation. There's also like the dark blue box variation with the yellow green background, which is more rare. Most of the things I've seen for that one are from Japan, which I, like I said, I don't know if that was a Japanese exclusive or not. I don't really know. But they're really great figures and they look really good together. So I really hope you enjoyed this review. Enjoy this video, please do like and feel free to leave a comment below down in the comment section. And if you want to see more views and content, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all next time. Happy 4th of July, everyone.